A Democratic state legislator who's on the ballot next week was just arrested. Prosecutors charged state rep Tracy Burnett with several felonies for allegedly lying about where she lives so that she can run for the state house in Louisville instead of Longmont. Here's politics guy Marshall Zellinger. Cell phone tower pings, license plate reader scans, a search warrant for this apartment, social media searches, and a request for Google history. No, I'm not describing the hunt for an armed and dangerous individual. Those are the methods the Boulder County District Attorney's Office used to see if a state lawmaker lied about where she lived in order to run for office in a more favorable district. Boulder County's Democratic DA charged Democratic State Representative Tracy Burnett with three felonies and two misdemeanors about misrepresenting where she lived to run for office, voting from a false address, and lying to an officer about her address. Here's the gist. Because of redistricting, which happens every 10 years, the boundaries of the state House districts have changed. Over the last two years, Burnett has represented House District 12 while living in Longmont. Following redistricting, that home is now in House District 19, and voter registration in that district makes it a bit of a toss up with an almost equal number of Republicans and Democrats behind the majority of unaffiliated voters. Burnett filed paperwork one year ago listing a Louisville apartment as her new address, which is within the boundaries of the new House District 12, which has a much more favorable voter registration for a Democrat to win. State law requires a House candidate to live in a district for one year before they can run for that seat. In September, a Republican filed a complaint with the DA's office saying Burnett did not really live in Louisville. The DA's office got a a search warrant to look inside the Louisville apartment and found a near empty refrigerator, cobwebs on the cabinets, and few clothes in the closet. Prosecutors interviewed a resident who said the blonde lady who was a congressperson or something wanted to take a selfie, saying it seemed like she was trying to make people think she actually lived at the complex. Then there are the cell phone tower records that found the majority of her calls connected to towers closer to the Longmont address. And the DA's office got body camera footage from a July traffic stop where an officer asked her if her life was correct. Burnett said it was. It showed the Longmont address. These charges do not change the fact that Burnett is on the ballot for Tuesday's election in the heavily Democratic district where she may not actually live. I reached out to Burnett and she did not respond. Let's look far ahead, Kyle. Let's say Burnett wins Tuesday and perhaps gets convicted of lying of where she lives. There would not be a special election because of state law that says Vacancy committees get a pick. So if a Democrat wins, the Democratic Vacancy Committee gets to pick, regardless of how that Democrat got in office. We've heard about these cases, these allegations before, and a lot of times it's just like, well, there's one address on the paperwork, but it seems like it might be someplace else. That evidence that they've collected, I mean, innocent until proven guilty, but holy smokes, it looks like they got her dead to rights. I checked in with El Paso County, which is looking into a Republican state senator who also is accused of not living where they say they are living. I asked, did you do all these different searches? They say the investigation is active and ongoing, which started a month before this one. Active and ongoing, but we're not going to tell you what the methods we're using are. Or if they peeked in his fridge. That's smart. That's smart. I like that. All right. Thank you, Marshall.